Hi viewers and welcome to March 2015 Earth Prediction Series with me. So I hope you all have had a great February and a safe February wherever you are around the world. I think if you're in parts of the USA it has been particularly cold and unfaltering with freezing conditions and lots of heavy snowstorms. Let's hope that that eases for you as your spring will soon be on the way. In fact, as we move into March, we officially change seasons, se seasons excuse me, and for us here in the Southern Hemisphere, we move into autumn, and for the Northern Hemisphere, obviously, you move into spring. And quite often when we come across the adjustments of the seasons, especially those, the spring and autumn ones, we find the planet seems a little more um, active while she undergoes the cyclic changes as well. So let's see what's in store for the March reading. We start off with the card that's in front of you called the prison card. Now if you look at the card we see a feeling of underground and being locked in, so shut in something trapped underground. So that could be buildings, stuck in buildings, because this is within a building, and it could be tunnels, so underground tunnels, or it could be volcanic activity, because we're thinking underground. It can also literally be something to do with prisons, so sometimes we see an increase in inmate or prison issues when this card turns up. In the past that has been the case. I also look at the sunlight coming through the bars and I think of the whole solar cycle activity. If you know, if you've been following this Earth Prediction series, anytime I see specific sunlight shining on something it's brought to my attention to think of the sun and how it affects us on the planet, which could indicate that in March there will be some significant solar activity in one way or another and of course this can relate here on earth as increased quake activity or storm related activity that is formed and comes onto land and creates trouble such as cyclones and just two days ago Australia was hit with a twin cyclone up in the northern part of its regions which apparently is very very rare. So you could see some more severe storm cells in the month of March. Now the next card that arrived was the Father card. He seems to come out in readings really really often and I think of a couple of things. Predominantly the first message that comes to mind is this aiming and looking up at the sky and he's pointing up there with quite specific intention. He's actually looking ahead as if to say to you look up at the skies. So I often think again of planetary alignments or things coming from the sky such as meteors, meteorites, asteroids, celestial bodies that we will be watching in the month of March and their trajectory across our solar system. Again uh, the sun, space related information or technology or movement as well as things coming from the sky unexpectedly, so things falling from the sky, which can be technology related items or natural items. The other thing that this indicates is a feeling of warring tendencies because they have their artillery and they are aiming specifically at something. So we can get that still continued warring effect, which let's face it, the planet is in a pretty mucked up state at the moment, so I think that will continue. We also get the feeling of family related issues, father and son, so somehow family ties can be connected with incidents that uh, go global and can affect others at the same time. So whether it's deaths or murders or loss of families through accidents or incidents. The next card that arrived was the beauty card. She often indicates people or uh, famous celebrities, movie stars or politicians or politicians wives 
and often through the Europe, the old part of our planet, the older part, because we get this feeling when we see here of old castles, and her garb in particular is quite ancient looking. And I often find that when she turns up there is something about people in or around England or even London itself that can be woman and things will happen or occur with them. Now interestingly enough, I think Princess Catherine is due to have her baby in either March or April, so perhaps the royal baby will arrive in this time period. The, it also can be um, women's rights and just generally around the globe women's or feminine energies rising up again for one reason or another. So we may see a surge in a call to either back or support women's rights or feminine energy around the planet. The next card that arrived was the home card. This one often, because I'm doing the readings and I see the word the home, so I think of my home, which most of you will know is New Zealand. So that's the southern hemisphere. And it can be even my close neighbours, which are Australia and the Pacific Islands, such as Fiji, Vanuatu, Samoa, Nui, the Cook Islands. So sometimes there are incidents around these areas and they can be vast and different. We, we see here the fire, so it can be fire related. We also see a home, so it can be issues to do with buildings, whether this is an increase in quakes or buildings that get damaged one way or another, which could be storm related, so it could be cyclonic type storm patterns that cross the area. And we see animals. So maybe we get um, an increase in animal issues around these areas as well, where some animals take uh, a suffering on the planet. The next card that arrived was the wheel. It's a bit like a tarot, um, which is the wheel of fortune card. It has the whole feeling of the cycle of life and the turning of evolutionary wheels that never particularly stop. So there's often things here that indicate, again, cycles of life and perhaps if we look at astrology or astronomy and our space and our galaxy, it's things that are beyond our control but they're part of a cycle of evolution that's occurring, so sometimes it's that. Other times it can be referring to water and really rushing rapid water because that's what's in the background in this mill wheel here. And sometimes crops because these reeds in the front look a little bit like crops. It can also refer to literal wheels, so wheels of big machinery or equipment or, or vehicles one way or another or the engines of those big machinery or vehicles. I'm thinking boats, planes, trains, trucks, buses, all of those type of things. And as I say, the cycle of time and the movement of planets somehow. And the last card that arrived was the puzzle card. And I think it's possibly easier to look at it if I turn it on its side. It's only ever come out once before in the entire time I've been doing the readings, so I haven't got a particularly in-depth calculation of its meanings. It's still retaining its puzzle, if you like, and I'm having to work through the potential issues when it crops up. We see a royal figure. So again, I think of royalty one way or another, and it doesn't just mean British monarchy as in royalty, but it could mean royalty throughout the whole globe and oftentimes in the Western world royalty th through uh, foreign countries such as China or Korea we forget about that but they do have their own royal systems as well. There are two doors here that are shut closed and it's as if knowledge is being kept from you and that's the feeling of the puzzle card. For some reason it doesn't want to let all its knowledge out, it hides it. It's a little bit like this the wheel card behind it, there's a feeling of not necessarily knowing or being able to stop or change 
events when they occur when this puzzle card comes out. The only other time it has ever come out was last year in uh, February I think it was just before MH370 went missing and there were a couple of other incidents at the time that were really unusual that you almost felt as though there was a whole lot of hidden agenda behind them that none of us knew the answers to. So I'm wondering if something will occur in or around or close to March that creates just another global puzzle that we don't quite see all the picture to and we're not provided with all the answers for it. Sometimes I think this looks a little bit like Canada's um, maple leaf on their flag so I think maybe Canada could have some sort of um, global issue that we're all it's brought to our attention and these trees in the background we think of the tree of life and again it's about education and just um, events that will occur regardless but you're part of them if you like you're interwoven somehow into these global events you can't stop them from happening but they form a part of the crux of history maybe or events that become noted periods in time for whatever reason. I think the two doors are significant and I think the fact that they're locked are significant so either you're trapped in again, you're stuck, you can't get out, we don't know what's on the other side, we're not being shown. So a feeling of, um, a little bit of a feeling of we're headed possibly down that same path energetically wise as we were this time last year and I can't quite recall but I'm wondering if the whole Russia Ukraine problem stepped up around about this time as well last year so I think a bit of a menacing card and one that we still have to work through all the potential meanings but one to watch that's for sure so there we are guys there is the March reading for you um, I love hearing your comments and all your own points of view on what you feel the cards mean because that's how really it takes time for meanings and energies to come through for these types of readings because it's it's new and I'm the only one doing them. So any objective points of view and information that you all input goes towards the overall outcome and understanding of the nature of the cards and how they work. So I wish you all the very best for March. Take care everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for staying tuned and subbing and liking. Have a wonderful March. Be safe. Kia kaha.